And back to a story you'll see only on six. A family tracks down their stolen trailer, but as you can see from those pictures, it's a little too late. Going local six reporter Tim Becker joins us now. And Tim, you say that trailer was actually at the scrap metal yard here in Portland? Yeah, it was, Kelly. Apparently, it is easier for some scrap metal thieves to pawn some of their stolen goods here in Oregon than it is in Washington. The owners of the trailer say they figure that's why they found it on a scrap metal lot on North Columbia Boulevard. It was a, a GMC truck. It's back home, but battered, half flattened, folded, and semi crushed. Boy, it was a good trailer. That could haul a load. The old converted trailer has seen better days. This is where the trailer was. And uh, it was probably only four inches from the Toyota here. Lynette Jones says thieves took it from her East Vancouver driveway Labor Day weekend. I have been scared ever since. Um, we already bought a bunch of um, uh, sensor lights, and I'm thinking about going to Costco and getting their video cameras. Friends and relatives called around, and she says a few days later, found the old trailer here at Rivergate Scrap Metals on North Columbia Boulevard, where thieves had cashed it in. They shouldn't have taken the stolen property in the first place. It, had, it still had the VIN number on it, and I think they should have checked that out before they even took it. She says they're upset with the metal buyers, that a trailer in good shape, worth more intact than scrap, should be a huge red flag. They should have been questioning it all along, and I think just they were turning their cheek because they want the the value of the metal themselves. We paid a visit to Rivergate Scrap Metals to hear their side of the story, but no one would comment on camera. They did release the trailer to its rightful owner, but only after Portland police said they had to. It's a lose-lose situation. One family's trailer out of commission, and one business now without the money they paid to whoever stole it. They're in a business, sure. they. And they should be aware that they're probably receiving stolen property for the scrap value anyway. Okay, again, to reiterate, in Washington, license plates, VIN number, registration, all required for a uh, recycler to be able to buy a trailer and then turn it into scrap metal. Uh, we stopped by seven different scrap metal recyclers here in Oregon looking for more answers on this side of the river. None of them wanted to talk with me on camera. Reporting for you live in downtown Portland, Tim Becker, Coin Local 6.